if I enter the, the airport, I will be arrested. That's, that's a fact. Ten years ago, the streets of Egypt filled with people who demanded change. Some Egyptian Canadian protesters say that now, the situation is worse than ever. Yeah, it was scary because, like, sort of, especially at the beginning when I first got arrested, they sort of threw me into a um, some sort of truck. Mustafa Al Hushi was there on the ground ten years ago. He and his friend were on their way to attend the protest when they were stopped by the authorities. Uh, and then I told my friend suddenly, he ran to one direction. And then I ran to the other direction and I started running, but a lot of soldiers came and unfortunately I was beaten. He says he spent several days in jail before being released. Despite some of the intense and scary moments, he says he remembers his time during the Arab Spring as beautiful days where rich, poor, People of all religions and backgrounds were in solidarity. But while the protests in Tahrir Square and across the Middle East brought hope to the region, some argue that Egypt, 10 years later, is now even worse off. The, the sort of the language that they're using is, you know, we put our lives on the line 10 years ago for what? For this? <laughs> Despite that, the idea of political change, economic freedom, and a better life are still things Egyptians are fighting for. And, and once it's out there and it takes a hold of people's political imaginations, it doesn't just go away. And some advocates say the end of this story has yet to be written. See, the thing about the revolution, it hasn't stopped. It hasn't stopped. In Calgary, Kara Campbell, City News.